What is going on guys? It's Ben here. In today's video we have an awesome old school opening. This one is really, really dear and close to my heart because this was the first ever tin I opened in Yu-Gi-Oh! And that is the 2003 Dark Magician tin. Now yes, there was a tin that came up before it, which was Dark Magician. It was the 2002 tin. But back then, like I was so little, it was so hard to get enough money i know a lot of you probably knew the struggle or trying to get your parents to buy you this uh but i finally convinced my dad to buy me this tin when i was younger and then later on in my life i opened up a 2002 tin but this was actually my first ever tin i opened in Yu-Gi-Oh, and that's why this is one of my favorite arts for dark magician obviously i actually do like the original art better to be completely honest but this is like a very close second just because it was my first Secret Rare Dark Magician I ever owned, and I was so happy when I was a kid, but we're in popping the tin open. I definitely feel like you guys are excited, want to see some more old school open openings. I got a lot more of the 2002 tins, 2003 tins, and obviously some old school booster packs. So thank you guys for supporting the channel. If you're new to the channel, this is your first time here. Welcome. Uh, and this, and this, if you didn't know, if you haven't seen the other one, in this tin we get one Legendary, or one Legend of Blue-Eyes White Dragon, one Metal Raiders, one Magic Ruler, one Pharaoh Servant, and one Labyrinth of Nightmare, and then we get one of six variant cards. Obviously we're going to get the Dark Magician. And I'll accompany this tin opening with a white Yusei Photo tin as well. That has the first edition. I don't want to hurt this tin, so I'm going like kind of, kind of slow there. It has the first edition Jules Genesis packs in there, so we'll be hunting for that Ghost Rare Stardust or any cool ultis, but... We'll see what happens. So we got it off there. I know we had like the issues with the 2002 tins where the promo card, where the promo card is actually kind of, geez, that was like bent in there a little. You can see how this, this has a little bit of a bend on the inside. So that's kind of what I got a good deal on this tin too. I'm keeping my perfect mint condition tin. Uh, I usually open, like if I can get a good deal on like a little bit of like a little beat up tins or whatever, I'll open them up because why not? Uh, but yeah, we got the one. Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon, awesome pack. We actually got two of those in the 2002 tins. We won Metal Raiders, one Magic Ruler, not Spell Ruler. We've went over that a bunch of times. One Pharaoh Servant, that's the new one, and the one Labyrinth of Nightmare. So and then our Dark Magician. It's it looks like it's probably gonna have some back wear because as you guys know, they place them in the back. So if this tin has been moved around a lot, the card itself is uh usually the back of it is not in a great condition. This one isn't too bad. It wasn't as bad as a lot of our 2002 ones. It does have a, like, you can see up in here a little bit of scratch marks and everything, but it's not terrible. We've seen worse uh, because, the, like, they fixed it obviously nowadays. Even with, like, a couple years later, they fixed, like, how the promo cards weren't getting damaged by putting them in little their own little seals. But just look at this artwork. It's awesome. Uh, so, <laughs> so far, we're only one for, I think, one for four, one for five. I'm getting, like, perfect promo cards out of these tins, but that's fine. The Dark Magician just looks amazing. I like, I don't know, dude. I just stared at this card so long from when I was a kid, but it looks amazing. So finally we got them out of the tin. We'll set the tin lightly on the ground. We'll get into our awesome pack opening. Hopefully we get some awesome pulls out of a tin. It's really random. You can either get three foils, four foils, or no foils. So we'll, we'll hope for one. Um, I don't know, but I hope you guys are excited. Like, like I said, this Dark Magician, man, is just, one of my all-time favorites, and I absolutely, absolutely love the artwork on that one. Like, it's, it's like hand-in-hand. Hand. Like I said, I like the original artwork of Dark Magician better, but I like this one a lot, too. So, Roaring Ocean Snake, a Robin Goblin. This is the nostalgia. And then, like, the old foil. The foil, not foil, but the original cards, and then Robin Goblin, and then Big Eye. Cybersaurus. Jellyfish. And the Cheerful Coffin. So, no hollow out of our first one. That's cool. We did get a rare. We got to put it in front and center. You guys got to be able to see that, the beauty of that card. But how many of you have, like, remember opening this tin when you were a kid or something? I don't know how exactly how old. Let's see, 2002? Or 2003. This one was 2003. I was probably around seven years old, eight years old, somewhere in there. We're doing the Legend of the Blue Eyes right now. Like, it was so long ago. But, like I said, one of my favorite cards. I had this card for so long. I had it for years, and then guess what happened to it? I know a lot of you know know the feeling. We got Giant Soldier of Stone, an awesome rare card, 2000 defense. And then we have Petite Angel, the Furious Sea King, and One-Eyed Shield Dragon. So, back when I was little, um, you guys know, Yu-Gi-Oh! is still relatively new. Like, we were just playing the card game. We'd bring them to, like, to school, throw the cards in our backpack, throw them in our pockets. Uh, we didn't have sleeves on them, obviously, because we were little kids. Uh, 
uh, this Dark Magician, when I first had it after having it for like two or three years, one of my most prized cards as a kid, tossed it in my my pocket, obviously after the years of wear, you know, like, it gets a little lightly played, a little damage on the side. It went through the washer. Washer and dryer. My mom's like, Ben, your cards got washed or whatever, and I was so mad. But, we got our hungry hamburger. Uh, that makes me want to have a hamburger right now. So yeah, that was my story about my Dark Magician. When I was a younger kid, like, I wasn't one to always take care of cards, because I, I didn't know any better. Like, you just used them, whatever. We didn't know they had, like, crazy value. And oh, that's an awesome rare. We got Cyber Jar. You, if you guys don't know what this card does, crazy. Flip, destroy all monsters on the field, including this monster. Both players then pick up five cards from the top of their respective decks and show the cards to each other. Immediately special summon any mo any monster cards of level four or lower among them on the field and face up attack position or face down defense position. The rest of the cards are picked up and placed in the player's hands. That's why this card's banned. It's crazy. And then we have Queen Bird. Whiptail Crow, they kind of go together, right? Two little flying thingies. And then we've got perform Performance of Sword. And then we got the Giant Turtle who feeds on flames. So Cyber Jar, awesome card to pull. Just like, I love seeing the vanilla monsters, man. That's how like the game was made up back then. And then getting out your Dark Magician and Blue Eyes and all that. I know it's Blue Eyes, but I like, I don't know. You, you get what I'm saying. So we got the Pharaoh Serpent now, or the Labyrinth and Nightmare. Since we haven't opened one of these yet, we'll open up our Pharaohs. Or no, Labyrinth and Nightmare. Got Yugi, the old school, for for US and Canada, English edition. So, come on, at least give me one foil out of here. This guy looks pretty sweet. Headless Knight, the Headless Horseman. Lady Panther, Grand Tiki Elder, Kier Mermaid. As long as this card remains face on the side of the field, Increase your life points by 800 during each of your standby phases. And, oh no. Oh no, we got Mask of Restricts Ultra Rare. This is actually an awesome pull. For those of you that do not know, do not follow competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! There is a structure deck of coming out with cards that are like crazy, of revolve around the tributing summoning mechanic and just kind of like abuse it and it's going to be a really solid deck. So a lot of people are picking up Mask of Restricts right now, and I'm gonna definitely take this one. Wow. Ultra Rare out of Labyrinth and Nightmare. That is awesome, and it's in like mint condition. This is sweet, so we'll put that in there. Mask of Restrict, no matter what the situation. I love the, I love the, the, like the text on old school cards. No matter what the situation, neither player can offer any monsters as tribute. So basically neither player can tribute summon. So let's read that text over. No matter what the situation, neither player can offer monsters for as a tribute. You would never, you would never hear that any card today. So that's crazy. We got an ultra rare and a good one too, because the uh, the upcoming meta might revolve around a lot of those cards coming out of that structure deck. I believe it's a structure deck, but we got Zombraya the Dark. This card's level four. This card cannot attack a player directly. Each time this card destroys. Destroys a monster in battle, decrease the attack of this card by 200 points. I actually use this because it had 2100 attack and you could get over a lot of monsters, but then it would kind of suck once it destroys stuff. But the unfriendly Amazon and Sword Landstar. Dude, that was an amazing pull. Oh my god. Ultra rare coming in clutch. So we're happy with that, like one, one foil out of here. So we're last pack, Pharaoh Servant. Let's see if we can clutch up. So. We got our Secret Rare Dark Magician. That's in pretty good condition. Like for being in that tin for so long, it's probably moved a lot. I thought the back was gonna be a lot worse seeing how bad that tin's condition was. But still, it's in pretty good condition. I'm happy about that. And then the perfect Mask of Restrict. That's sweet. We got Respect Play. During their respective turns, each player must show their opponents their hand. Girochin Kawagata, I think I say that, I don't know. Souls of the Forgotten. And we have a Prohibition. The rare, that's actually not a bad rare to get either. Um, I'll read it to you in a little bit if you don't know what it does. Deep Sea Warrior. When Yumi is faced upon the field, this card is unaffected by any spells. And Only Tank T34. That, now that's like, a, these are just so old school cards. That's why they're awesome. That's why I love doing these openings. It just brings back the memories. For like when this was my first tin I ever opened. We'll set the commons over there. Prohibition though. When you play this card, declare the name of one card. As long as this card remains on the field, the declared card cannot be played. The card which is already on the field before this card's activation are ex excluded. 
the cards which are already on the field before this card's activation are excluded. So I guess you can still use the card if it was on the field before it, but after that, mm -mm. say you want to say uh, prohibition, I'll call mask of restrict. Mask of restrict can no longer be used. So we'll pop over in the you say photo tin though. So that's why I like doing these openings too, because I can do like an old school and a new school. Let me get this plastic off quick. And there we go. We're getting this is actually a lot thicker plastic than the than the other ones. So we got our tin off. See how they fix this? If you guys have been watching the channel, I didn't really set that down nicely. They put the card in the front. Well, nowadays they do it where they actually put it in its own little compartment in there, so the card doesn't get any sort of damage. But they put it in the front, so the back doesn't get damaged. And the front is okay too. So we got our montage dragon. I've opened up a bunch of these already, so you guys know what's up. But if you're new to the channel too, if you see any of these cards, a lot of them, some of them on, on the, that you see open on the channel, unless they go straight to my collection, will be listed on my eBay. It's always in the description if, if you're just curious. And I sell a lot of other things that like I might have traded for or whatever. So if you see anything in the meta you might need, you want to hit me up. It helps support the channel, allow me to do these awesome openings and whatnot. Then we do have the. Uh, the, the uh, what are these? The token packs. What's cool about those token packs, normally I don't open these right now, uh, or anymore, but what's really cool is just seeing the, uh, the, uh, like this is a, like a, what's that, coupon to, a free entry. Free admission. Present this coupon for a one free entry to an under 13 tournament or team dueling tournament. Come meet other duels and duel in fun friendly event. Expires May 1st, 2009. We're only about nine years too late. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, we get some different variant of tokens that are different cards in the set. So, cool. But I just want to show that off. I don't think I've opened that yet. But we have Light Destruction, the first edition Duels Genesis. This has the Ghost Rare Stardust. And we have Phantom of Darkness. I'm just really happy that we got this. We'll put the new school over here. We got that Mask of the Shrek. That's awesome. Like, that's a really good card to get. So excited for that one. So... We got Instant Neospace, Sea Koala, Regenerating Rose, Vengeful Shinobi, and we got a Super Rare, Escape from the Dimension. Again, out of the tins, like, any hollows we get is a, is, is, is a solid for us. Escape from the different dimension, though. I think we pulled this before. Select one of your remove from play Dark Monsters and Special Summon it. When this card is removed from the field, destroy and remove from play that monster. When that monster is destroyed, destroy this card. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we pulled that. So we'll do some Light of Destruction. We got Honest on the front here. Uh, I'm actually, that'd be cool to get another Honest, so I can save my Ghost Rare ones, not have to use them in my Trickstar deck. <laughs> Couple of Ace. And we have a Super Rare, Duck Mobile Cam, Ducker Mobile Cam, we already did pull one of those too. This kind of looks cool. Flip select one level 4 monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. Throw that down to the side. Uh, we'll do our last Light of Destruction, we'll, see the, we'll save the Duels Genesis for last. So we're getting Hollows out of these. That's the cool thing. Sadly, they're the super rares. We got Wetlands, Summoning Limit, Garoth the Light Sworn Dragon, Space Gift, and a. Oh no! Oh my gosh! No freaking way, man! Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Are you 100% serious? This just became my best tin opening so far. Honest. Ghost Rare. For those of you that do not know, I was just I was just talking about the honest. So I actually have two of these first edition ghost rares in very good condition. But this one's unlimited, but it doesn't matter. A ghost rare honest, right of the pack, perfect condition. Oh my god. So, if you don't know, ghost rares are not in printing anymore. Ghost rares are very sought after cards and extremely expensive. That's why these duels genesis packs are so sought after for ghost rare cards. Wow, during your main phase, you can return this card from the field to its owner's hand. During either player's damage step, when a face-up light monster you control battles, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard to have that monster gain attack equal to the attack of that monster in its, its battling until the end phase. So basically it's just like, it works well with trick stars because you can go to, like say they have a crazily, because trick stars have a tough time getting over like high attack monsters. Um, you can just attack over their stuff with Honest, it'll gain their, like, a gain attack. Um, well, basically it'll gain the attack of your opponent's monster, and then it'll basically destroy it by battle. It's really good out to Masterpiece, too. But I cannot believe we got that.
Ghost Rare, honest. Like, you guys, a lot of you already know that probably watch you. Ghost Rares are insanely rare. That, like, I don't know the value on an unlimited one, but I'm pretty sure the Ghost Rare on the first editions are, like, 60 to $70. And if you get a Ghost Rare Stardust out of Duel's Genesis first edition, that's, like, a 200 some dollar card. That's why these packs are so sought after, so rare. Because first editions, these only ever came in tins or sneak peek things. So, this tin opening, we got Mask of District, an awesome Dark Magician, a Ghost Rare Honest. I don't know what else we can ask for in this tin opening. Sword of Kusangi, Judgment of Thunder, Gear Town, and a Mind Master. As soon as I saw the Ghost Rare, I was just like, no. That did not just happen. That is incredible. Okay, this is by far one of my best openings or most fun I've had an opening in, in the channel in a very long time. See, the 2003 Dark Magician, he's, he's giving back to me. He's coming back to me. He knows that's my first tin opening ever. He's got to make it a good one for YouTube. Mind Protector, Synchro Deflector, and a Handcuffs Dragon as our rare. So that doesn't matter. We didn't get anything out of the Duel's Genesis. We got that Ghost Rare Honest. So we'll do the recap. So we'll... that's crazy. So Right at the start, we out of the first 10, the 2003 Dark Magician 10, and awesome pulls here. We got Mask of Restrict, ultra rare, awesome card. Dark Magician, it's my favorite Seeker rare. Yes, the back is a little, little beat up, a little scratch on. I know you can't really see me in the camera, kind of like right here. Has a little mini scratch there, and on the top, see a little better there. But it's still better than like the 2002 Dark Magician and the Summon Skull we pulled. So that just looks awesome, that art. And then out of the uh, the UC Photo 10, we got the Ghost Rare. It wasn't the Sardis Dragon, it doesn't matter. So we got Duck Rimmer, Mobile Cannon is our Super Rare, Escape from the Dark Dimension, Super Rare, and Honest. Wow, that was awesome, and then obviously the promo. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, subscribe if you're new to the channel. We got a lot more openings coming like this. Our luck for this tins were crazy though. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. We've got a lot of cool openings soon. Like to do a little bit of old, a little bit of new. Let me know if you'd like to see anything open to you. I'll try and hunt it down. And I'll see you guys later.